Um, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This time, um, season chapter three, um, episode two, um, two of the alternate um future or history of the world, I guess. Um, so right on out, Germany would expand. Expand further into um well German lands. Get into the borders of Alsace Lorraine or Alsace Lorraine. I think that's the German way. That's because France, France got here first. This is getting to more of a, Italy would also be found to also have a lot of, well, Italy. This is mainly um, because Germany found it. Um, Germany has like one of the best finders. And Germany and Italy will officially sign a non-aggression pact, making seeing both countries as powers to be reckoned with. The Polish could not be able to pay the reparations, however, being able to expand furthermore into um. Lands would have to be have to give up this land to Germany. The Poles in um Posen would see this as a um national catastrophe and the government being weak and ineffective leading to the rise of nationalistic parties in um, Poland, however. So one nationalist party, the Nationalist Republic Party, would um, be elected and would see fit to change Poland into a great, into a greater nation. Nice and bigger, better and stronger. Russians would also expand to the border of Poland. I haven't taken much uh, well, um, Russia's land in um, 1930s, in the 1930s. Um, nine before um, the Motor Ribbenstrov Pact. Hmm. 
<laughs> um, Europe will be set in the stages for another war, um, known as going to be, which is going to be known as the Great War, World War One, um, like that. The UK would also expand into, um, further into um Britain into they be into they formally got Britain as a German puppet state Austria would form form um, Form um however they don't see themselves wanting to be a puppet state as for as long as they could see. <laughs> I mean they are pretty content on um being a puppet state. Kind of like in real life. France seeing Germany as too powerful would join the war against Germany. Austria would join. Britain would join. And the it and Italy would join against Germany. This stuns the Germans as they thought. The um They thought that they signed a non-aggressive pact. To start, the pol the Polis in Posen would um, begin to rise up against German rule, quickly um, taking a lot of land. And um, with the Polish army coming in, they would make a spearhead to attempt to cut off East Prussia. This would succeed, however, for only a little bit, as the Germans would cut off the rest of the army from them and make sure it's not from reach. Now, this is like 20,000 soldiers, which, if you saw my last video, um, is a lot and even almost manages to cut the soldiers off but in a battle that um, changes the world um changes the battle the um battle of posan the armies were encircled and totally obliterated that is 30,000 men surrendering they even get up to the other army and um, connect with it, cutting off East Prussia from the rest of Germany. However, Germany um, and Aus Austria um, is seen making great successes in um, in it the Italian peninsula, um, taking a lot of land. Encircling um, 20k soldiers again. Ok, 
can see. The Germans seeing the way um through France France locked would begin an offensive past the French defenses into the into the Benny Lux. Staggering offensives taking the French army by surprise. However, this success is sort of lived as the um, French, as the Germans um, come closer to Paris. The French know something would do, and seeing the logistic problems in the German army would encircle them. The French army would then tear apart the encirclements while the German army would try to get the encirclements but to no avail. avail. avail the, they would start to dig trenches as the French do the same. same. However, they at first um, take a little more land here. They would then, um, they would then focus on the Polish front, which is going, yep, not so good for the Germans. However, they would push the Polish back, um, Back in the battle, in the second battle, Pozen, all the way back to the border of Poland. Poland. They would attempt to cut off the, um, the Polish armies, but to no avail. And, um, however, um, seeing the possibility of being trapped, the Polish would retreat, leaving this to fall. They would take this and push the Polish back here. They would then build trenches all over the front. After a staggering Ita Austrian defeat, the Italians would gain a hang of themselves. Selves, um. Selves, um. And both sides would build tr will build trenches. There are no fronts where trenches don't come. By the way, the Greeks and the Turkish come closer to war as the t Greeks expand further more into the Balkan lands. So as Turkish, so as Turkey. Could this lead to the next major war, maybe? A Balkan, the first Balkan, the first Balkan would, war would happen too, as the um, Greeks would invade the Turks. Turks. They would push the Turks back, but like every front in the Great War, it would soon turn into. Hard, hard, um, rinses. 
The German, the British and French would do the Battle of the Marne, the first Battle of the Marne, pushing the Germans back even though with the logistic errors of the French army. The Germans seeing an opportunity would go here, however, engulfing more land and taking more, um, more of the um Benny Lux land <laughs> the Turkish would attempt a major pushback in um the Battle of Bulgaria in which is successful um and they pushed the Greeks all the way back the Greeks would join the Ent Entente powers and the Turkish would join the Central powers. powers. The Turkish would continue with German support their offensive into Bulgaria um, until they are stopped as the bulk of the Entente as the British forces arrive and stalemate them in an encirclement. And <laughs> the front would be locked into um into um 1916, which would be the first major offensive of the war. The war. <laughs> and two then we're going to be going over um statistics. The Germans managed to us sir one million soldiers. France 500k. Austria two 100k. Um, Italy. To 150k, Poland f um, 300k, Greece 250k, Turkey 150k, um, Brit and Brit Britain um, 500k, and the Russia 200 um, and Russia 2 million. So, I'm probably just going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed, um, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.